hello you guys welcome back to my channel my name is tam kim if you're new to my channel and today we're going to be talking about porosity hair porosity so you guys if you do not know what hair porosity is in your natural this video is very important for you to listen to please listen and take notes this is important y'all are you listening okay now that i got y'all attention hair porosity what exactly is hair porosity and what does it mean well porosity means how well your hair is able to receive and obtain moisture moisture the word moisture is so important for us naturals okay so listen listen to what i gotta say so there are three different types of hair porosity there is low normal and high porosity so today I'm going to just really stick to low and high porosity because I feel like that's what most of us naturals are. They're, we're either low or high, so I'm going to just stick to those two. But first, I'm going to talk about low porosity. What exactly is low porosity? So low porosity means that our hair cuticles are a little bit more tight and resistant in receiving water or moisture. So pretty much our hair follicles are a little bit stubborn. It doesn't want to let anything in, okay? So we just have a little bit more harder time with the moisture issue. High porosity, on the other hand, cuticles are open, so therefore moisture and water easily goes in, but then it also easily comes out because it's so open, okay? With high porosity hair, because moisture easily goes in and out, they are more prone to getting dry hair, damaged hair, and split ends. So it kind of really sucks to be high porosity, kind of low key, and kind of sucks to be low porosity. So it's kind of like you just gotta fight your battle. But I'm going to help you out. So if you're trying to figure out which porosity are you, here are some ways that you can figure it out. So first, low porosity. If your hair takes a little bit more time with drying when you do styles, and it takes maybe a couple, not a couple hours. If it takes hours, and when I say hours, I mean like five hours sometimes or more. One eternity later. More to a day to dry, then you might be low porosity. It feels like your hair builds up when it comes in contact with a lot of products. That might be low porosity hair. Because like I said, our follicles are very tight, so therefore it's, it's very hard for us to obtain moisture. So therefore that product is just sitting on top of each other. And that is not good. So certain oils are not good for us, like coconut oil, olive oil, because it's too heavy for our hair. So therefore, we need more lighter oils like argan oil, grapeseed oil, or tea tree oil to help with moisture. Because we can't use certain oils because it's too heavy and it will just weigh down our hair. So with high porosity, these are some ways that you can figure out your high porosity. If it takes your hair little to no time to dry, like literally, you did a style and you're doing a twist and it's dry, you probably have some high porosity hair because my hair on the other hand, my twist will sit there being wet and moist for the next day, okay? Like it's just really ridiculous. But if your hair actually dries super quick, then you might be high porosity because your follicles are so open, the moisture is coming in and just flying on out. Also, if you have a big tangling issue, tangling issue your hair might be high porosity because like i said the follicles are open but they get tangled onto each other and cause knots like those stubborn fairy knots that we do not like okay. so now it's time to talk about how you care for these different type of porosities first how to care for low porosity hair so since our hair follicles are so tight and it's more resistant to obtaining moisture we need to use different methods like adding heat into our styles and in order to open up those hair cuticles so like when we're doing a twist out or a deep conditioner we can use like a heated bonnet or like a heated dryer in order to open up the follicles to let all that moisture from all of the moisturizer that we don't use to enter into our follicles and give us that moisture that we need reducing the amount of products that we use also helps because like i said we can't take too much product because our hair is already tight and it's not letting anything in so therefore, maybe using two or three products at the moist, like a leave-in conditioner and a hair cream is pretty much good enough for us because the more you add, the more buildup in our hair is just getting weighed down because it's not physically going into the cuticle like it should. Okay, so like I said, we're adding heat to our styles. Washing our hair with hot water is so beneficial because our cuticles are open. So when we're washing our hair with the hot water and we're adding all that conditioning in it, we need to end it off with cold water in order to lock in 
all of that nutrients from the conditioner in order to seal the cuticles just so the cuticles can close up and keep all of that goodness from the conditioner because if you just rinse it out with hot water everything that you just put in your hair just flies on out so now let's talk about high porosity hair and how to care for that so high porosity hair since y'all are prone to drying i would not suggest using heat because all that does is just leaves your cuticle open even wider than what it needs to be and all that product is just falling out and y'all really need to keep the moisture okay so i suggest to just use air drying because that helps better and it, the cool air kind of locks it in and closes it up a little bit instead of using heat which just opens it up and now your hair is dry again so since high porosity hair follicles are open adding and layering products is really beneficial to high porosity hair because they need all of that moisture just in case some of the moisture falls out they have some left to run back to layering products is really good for high porosity hair because they need all the moisture that they can get because they are so prone to drying heavy oil such as coconut oil and olive oil are very good for high porosity hair because it's very heavy for the hair butters and creams are very good for high porosity hair because it provides a lot of moisture so now that we talked about high and low porosity and how to care for both of them and if you may be either or they have two tests that you can do to try and figure out if you're high or low porosity So the first test is the water cup test. So the water cup test is taking a cup of water and a strand of hair and sitting it inside of the water. If your hair floats on the water, that means that your hair is probably low porosity because like I said, your hair follicles are so closed and shut, they are not letting anything in. Therefore, that water is not coming in this hair at all. So I'm gonna just sit at the top and no one's not gonna touch me and we are gonna be like that. That's pretty much how it is. So, if you are a high porosity, your hair will float all the way to the bottom or close enough to the bottom of the cup because your hair follicles are open and all the water is getting into it because it is dry and it is thirsty, okay? And if your hair sits in the middle of the cup, that means that you aren't normal porosity. So it's kind of like you a little bit of both, which isn't a bad thing. It's pretty good to be normal porosity. You know, you have less issues than the high or the low. You know, you don't gotta fight too many battles. So the second test is the water spray test. Pretty much you take some hair with a bottle of water and you just spray your hair. And if your hair has beads of water on it, pretty much like rolls of water on top of your actual hair, that might mean that you are low porosity because your hair is not accepting that water. It is very resistant to taking in water or moisture. If your hair, as soon as you spray it, becomes super dry, it's like as if you never sprayed it, you might be high porosity because your hair is again, is thirsty, it just sucked up all that water and it's like, girl, I need some more, that wasn't enough, okay, I'm in this desert, please revive me, <laughs> okay, so that might mean that you are high porosity and if your hair is more on the damp side, and it doesn't have like the balls of water or it's not dry and it's kind of like in the middle you may actually be normal porosity which is like i said again a good thing you have less battles to fight i hope this video was very informative to you guys who did not know your hair porosity or who did not know por what porosity was from the beginning hopefully this really helped you if this did help you please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it will have more videos coming soon and you don't want to miss out okay and also don't forget to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every single time when i post a new video okay thank you guys have a good one low porosity team low porosity team low porosity <laughs>